not that I'm a master colorist. I make things look pink, red, blue, and green all the time. <laughs> that are not supposed to be those colors. Come, 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 come on. I've been filming, producing, editing my own content for about five years now. And the one thing I've learned is as you get better or strive to make better videos, the process gets even harder and harder. So I'm always looking for something just to make it a little bit easier, to make it a little bit faster. And the whole time I've been editing, there's been one gripe to myself that I've always had. And that's the preview window in all editing programs is about this big. And then if you split it in half, so you have a preview window in your editing window, and then you have two little screens this big. To me, that's annoying. I always want to have it the size of the monitor, but then that would encompass the entire editing program in itself. And you can move it around. You can pull it out of the editing program. You can expand it, but then you have to shrink it back down and put it back in its place so you can keep editing. And that is kind of a pain in the butt, especially when you're color grading. Not that I'm a master colorist. I make things look pink, red, blue, and green all the time <laughs> that are not supposed to be those colors. Now I do have a desktop computer upstairs that has a big curve monitor. I have edited most of the videos on my channel on a desktop computer, but I find myself using my laptop more and more because it's just a more powerful machine. Problem is 15 inch monitor. So the preview window has shrunk down and now I'm looking for another option that's easier to make that part of editing for me go a little bit smoother. Here's where the process got better for me. Just out of the blue, a company called Quumzy reached out to me and we decided to partner on something that's gonna make life of editing for me just a little bit easier, maybe a lot of bit easier. They sent me the S2 triple screen. This is a slide on double monitor for laptops. And it's heavy. Usually when you get something heavy, it's pretty good build style. We're gonna pop this baby open and we're gonna see if it makes life a little bit easier while I'm editing these videos. Now, it is a heavy box, so hopefully it's a strong build. Oh, this is cool. It comes with a leather carrying bag that's actually smaller than my laptop bag actually and this is the monitors right here as we get them out take a look at them open up one and then you have a little foam pad to protect the other monitor i would imagine we'll set that over there and then you slide that over and you open up the third monitor and i know the camera's not doing this exactly what i need it to do there you go triple monitor for your laptop. And I noticed on the back of the carrying case, I saw another YouTuber do a video about one of their monitors that didn't have any place to put the cords. The S2 has a nice pocket on the back to carry all those cords. Don't let them deceive you. You don't need to use every single one of them. It is actually really, really easy to install. <laughs> We're gonna get to that right now. I wanna thank Quimsy for partnering with me on this because I do think that this monitor is gonna be a little bit of a game changer for me when it comes to editing. Getting it onto the laptop is actually a pretty easy process. You're gonna open up your first monitor, you're gonna take out the foam pad and toss it across the room, then you're gonna slide this over because the whole thing slides over like an accordion, and then you're gonna open up the second monitor. And then there's a little door right here you gotta pop open, and that's gonna be the stopper when you slide it on top of your laptop. So you pick it up, and you expand it, and then you can slide it right down on the pads until it hits the stopper at the top. These videos are not that easy to make when you're doing it by yourself. Now, because it is a very heavy setup for a laptop screen, they do provide you with a kickstand to take the weight off of your laptop. I find that the viewing angle after you put the kickstand up, isn't really that ideal. So, uh, Quamzy, if you're watching, maybe put an extension on that. But other than that, 
I just put a little box or something under the kickstand and bring it up to the angle that I'd like to edit at. In this case, I just used the case for my Osmo. <laughs> All right, set up. And I'm not a tech guy. I had Alex help me with this the very first time I looked at it. So I have to kind of figure it out on my own right now. If I can figure it out, you can figure it out. All I know is that this thing looks super cool on my laptop. I know my laptop is like an 18 inch screen and these are 14 inch screens, but that doesn't matter to me because it's just gonna help the editing process that much more for me. Not to fear, Quimsy has provided us with a very detailed user guide on how to hook the monitors up. So they provide a USB-A to USB-C, USB-C to USB-C, and HDMI to Type-C. Now, I don't have USB-C ports on my computer, so we're gonna use the USB-A to USB-C, I believe. My computer did come with a USB-C connection, so I had to use the Type-C and HDMI and USB-A connection. So basically I had to hook up the first monitor with the USB type C port. The second monitor had to use the USB A and the HDMI to make it work. And it worked and it looks amazing. So here comes our learning portion. We're gonna move a couple things around and we're gonna see what it looks like. Now the resolutions of these two screens are 1080p. The resolution of the monitor on my laptop is 2K. Love for it to be 4K, but you know how that goes. So we're gonna leave the actual video preview right here so that when I color grid, I can get as close to what I'm trying to do on a 2K monitor versus 1080p. But these right here are gonna be my workhorses on the left and right. And that's where I'm gonna put different portions of the editing software that I'm using so that I can make the center my preview screen. Now this, is exactly what I was talking about. It worked out exactly how I hoped it would. I have broken the screens up to exactly how I need to use them. I have my timeline here. I have my media. I have my color grading. In the center, I have my preview window. And I can expand it to the full screen, but that is a nice big size right there to preview as I'm editing. And then over here, I have any assets I need to use. If I need to go online, I got my folders. I got anything I need to look at in here. And then of course, if I need to look something up online, like that awesome YouTube channel, I can do that. But this is what was important to me. Now I'm gonna show you why this three monitor setup was so important to me. And we're gonna zoom in on this clip of Joe I have right here on a video and I'm editing at a steakhouse. And as you can tell, it is full of image noise. Now, I could record the screen while I'm showing you this, but I want you to see it how I'm seeing it. That's why we're using the camera right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here to my left monitor where I have all my adjustments for the video itself. And right here, I have an adjustment for reduce image noise. I was showing Alex a minute ago how this works. If you look right here where the cursor is, you can see all this noise. It's all over the front of Joe. It's all over the wall. It's everywhere in this image. Now, when I'm watching it on a small preview screen, I can see it, but I can't see it to this detail. So I don't know how strong to set the filter. So when I click it now, you're gonna watch that image noise disappear. And it's gone. Now, no image noise reducer or filter is perfect, but that looks a hell of a lot better than it did a couple minutes ago when I first loaded the clip into my timeline. That in itself is enough of a reason for me to have these monitors here so that I can see the preview window a lot larger. Now I know there's a lot of other reasons why other editors or other people that work on computers or programmers or anybody else that, that has something to do with tech would want these monitors, but that is my selfish reason for wanting these monitors so that I can see the preview window a lot bigger when I'm working on a video. And why is there so much image noise in this video? It's because it was a dark restaurant. As a vlogger, as a YouTuber, you don't always have control over the lighting. Actually, 
about 80 to 90 percent of the time we don't have control over the lighting and we're not going to carry huge lights around with us like i have right here lighting me up into a restaurant i don't think that other patrons would appreciate that Now, I've watched quite a few reviews on the triple screen laptop extender, the S2 by Quumzy. <laughs> um, and what I've seen is a lot of technical reviews telling you about the resolution, which is 1920 by 1080, or the size 14 inches. I'm, I'm not gonna do that because what I'm looking for are the benefits to it. And the benefits I see to this are the fact that I can use it as a workhorse on both sides of my laptop monitor and give myself a bigger screen to preview my edits on so I can see my color grading a lot better. I can see any other filters I need to add. I can see them actually working so I know the scale in which I need to, to use them. So this right here is pretty awesome. And the fact that it's such a small form factor when you fold it up and slide it into the case, that's absolutely amazing as well. I mean, I could probably fit both of these things in my camera backpack, in the back pocket, my, my uh, monitor extender and my laptop will probably fit in that zipper pack. That's a win-win all by itself. This is one of the coolest products that I have reviewed in a very long time. I am so stoked that Quimsy reached out to me to review this product. And I'm so, so very stoked that I get to keep it. Make sure you guys check out their website for all their other awesome products, including a touchscreen keyboard that I'd love to get my fingers on. <laughs> Are you watching, Clumsy? Let's do a video. <laughs> they do have some pretty awesome products, so make sure you guys check out the website in the description. I'll even post it in the first comments of the video. And uh, if you're into editing, if, if you want to have split screens and be able to have two other screens as your workhorse while you're editing, this is the route to go right here. I love this, and um, I will continue to use it, especially on my travels. I think uh, I think this is going to go with me everywhere. Anyway, guys, this is uh, probably one of the very few technical videos that I do. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you on the next one.